Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Happy um, hump day, happy Wednesday, happy coffee and a card day. I think there's a little delay, so I'm holding on just to make sure that we're on. I'm not drinking any coffee. I think I had three cups of coffee this morning, so I was a little um, caffeinated. Um, my daughter got me this cute little um, stainless steel Pioneer Woman tumbler for Mother's Day. And okay, I see two people. Can you give me a thumbs up so I know you can hear me and everything? If you want to. <laughs> Just give me a thumbs up. I might have to get on my um, my other machine just to make sure I'm going and the, the volume's working. I just want to make sure you all can hear me. Anyway, my daughter um, got me this um, for Mother's Day, Pioneer Woman, and it keeps things so cold. I put a drink in it at noon today and at noon tomorrow the ice will still be in it so it's not one of those expensive things i doubt she probably got it at walmart but it's so cute and so i'm drinking water <laughs> trying to stay hydrated i am gonna okay donna pollock i had comments off so all's good awesome thank you guys Today, we're going to have so much fun. I love the card. Um, I kind of just was experimenting with different colors. I saw uh, some color combinations online, and I thought, I wonder if those would be pretty together. I never thought to put regal colors with some bright colors. So um, let me turn the camera around, and I'll show you the card we're going to do today. Isn't that lovely? That bright melon mambo pink with crushed curry and old olive. I just think you could frame that. Um, we're going to do some sponging and we are going to do some masking. We're going to do two different types of masking today. So um, hold on to your hats. Don't forget, um, hi Letha, you got to come on. You must have a break. Um, don't forget the hostess code for the month of May. If you use this hostess code, your name will go in the drawing for the um, Little Ladybug stamp set. For every $30 increment you spend this month, um, I will put your name in to um, win the Little Ladybug stamp set. It's so cute, and it's hard to get. So I thought that would be a good giveaway. If you already have it, we can substitute something else. Um, all right, let's get started stamping. What you're going to need, um, first of all, to do our sponging, we're going to make a couple of templates. Tem templates? Is that how you call it? So to do that, this piece of Whisper White cardstock, which is three and a half by four and three fourths, um, I made a template out of an, a scrap of um, three and a half by four and three four or th yes four and three fourths by three and a half. <laughs> I will write this all down later for you all. And we're going to cut out the template with one of the rectangular stitch dies. Then we're also going to cut out a mask for our flower. And because we have, we, we did that last week on one of the cards. I think we, we made a mask, but we fussy cut it out. But the stamp set we're using is Painted Poppies. And it has a coordinating die set, so we don't have to fussy cut. And I am using um, the die out of this set, Painted Labels. If you purchase the Painted Poppies stamp set and the dies together, uh, there's a 10% savings. 
So um, if you have a die cutting machine, you're going to want the dies because you just need them. <laughs> so we're going to cut out our little, t our um, masks out of basically scrap paper with our die cutting machine. And through the magic of television, I have already done that for us, so we don't have to take the time to crank it all through. Um, and what I have put on the backs of these for them to stick, we could use um, washi tape or painter's tape or purple tape. But I forgot that I had this. Um, hi, Donna. I forgot that I had this. Now, Stampin' Up! doesn't carry it. Um, it was in a drawer. It's two-way glue. I think I ordered it from Amazon. But when you use it wet, it sticks permanently. And when you, you let it dry, it makes a, um, a non-permanent stick. So we can stick it on something and pull it off. So I have already put the two-way glue on the back of this template that we cut out with the rectangle die, and it's dry. Do you want to make sure it's dry? When it's clear, that means it's dry. It comes out blue, um, and it's acid-free, so it's good to use for scrapbooking and everything. It's, it's a good thing to have, and I completely forgot I had this, and it works really good for the masking. So I went ahead and put some, some also on the back of, hi, Kathy. Um, on the back of our flower mask. Normally I would do this in a whisper white, the thick whisper white too, but I wanted you guys to be able to see it. So anyway, what I'm going to do is here's our three and a half by four and three fourths inch whisper white cardstock. I'm going to lay this um, mask on top and it's going to stick because I've got the two-way glue on it. But you could use some um, washi tape or masking tape, whatever, on the edges. And in fact, I am going to take a little piece of um, washi tape just so my paper doesn't um, twist and turn while I'm working. Because we're going to do some sponging. I hope everybody's doing good. We've had such gloomy days here in Kansas City. It's hard to get up and get going. But I think sunshine is coming all next week, so we have that to look forward to. Okay, so I've got my mask on here. Hi, Candy. And I'm going to stamp my flowers. Now, I did my flowers like this just so I could figure out my placement, how I wanted them. And then when I put them on the card, it is a landscape oriented card. <laughs> but when I stamp my flowers on, I kind of liked it like this to kind of know. I went with the by the, the three rule. And I'm going to put my glasses on. And I'm using black memento ink because we're going to sponge in the color. So I'm going to stamp my three flowers. That's how I did it. <laughs> Let's put my, my sample the way I did it. Using the rule of three. I don't know who invented the rule of three, <laughs> but it's some kind of artistic rule. It's pleasing to the eye. Odd numbers are pleasing to the eye, I guess. Okay, now I'll leave the black ink out. Put that aside. We're going to put the leaves on and we're going to use our little um, flower mask that we cut out with the, the die cut. And the hardest part of this is figuring out where it fits. And I kind of, there's like a, a groove. You just have to kind of, um, <laughs> and since I'm not over top, it's harder for me to see. I'll get it though. Once I get it, I get it. There we go. These two lumps go there. So it goes right there. So I'm covering up my flower with that so I can put, um, stamp my leaves and they look like they're coming under from underneath the flower. 
we did that last week on that that uh, sunflower card. And I'm stamping this with the um, tuxedo ink as well. And then since I use that two-way glue, this is just going to pop right up. And I have to figure out where it fits over here. It's so weird. There we go. It's harder from this angle than from getting right on top. And then I put a little tiny one. I think I'll put it right here this time. And one more to go. And these, these cards don't take that long to do. It's just the setup, making your templates, templates. And let's put a tiny one right here. There we go. Now we're done with the memento ink and the leaves. And I would save these for another time. Um, you know, just put them in your stamp box or stamp pad box. Keep it with the stamp. Now I'm going to line up all my colors. And I've got crushed curry, old olive, the melon mambo. And a little soft suede. We're not going to do much with the soft suede, but we did a little. And I've got some sponge daubers instead of the sponges. You could use the sponges. Just um, since I'm working on a smaller area, I grabbed the sponge daubers. So I'm going to ink up my um, Melon Mambo and just kind of... Um, blur it on here and we've got the the mask on there but I, I want to make sure I get the edges well so that there'll be a really good demarcation if you'll notice on the sample there's a really nice demarcation where we have the mask I really would never have thought to put these colors together and I saw something online with a real regal looking yellow, real rich sunflower yellow and bright pink and I just thought it was gorgeous. So, um, you know, pay attention to stuff around you and, and um, who knows where it'll take you. I just really like these color combinations. Okay, there's our little, um, what are these? Poppies. And for the centers, I took the crushed curry, and I didn't really um, sponge or blend. I just kind of daubed them right there. I didn't really want to murk up my um, pink. Ask me how I know. <laughs> When I sponged it into the pink, it gets a little, um, just a little murky. And then that's when I took the soft suede and I just put a couple little um, dots of that. It kind of darkens that, deepens that um, crushed curry. And I don't even know if it, if you can even see it from the camera. I'll hold it up as soon as we're done here. So we're done with all those. Oh, we need the crushed curry for our background. So I'm going to need that. Now I'm taking some old olive, which is a, it is also a, uh, what did I do? I'm not thinking, girls. 
I just used my soft suede. See what happens when you're not paying attention? <laughs> anyway, we'll fix it. Um, let's get rid of that. The old olive is also a regal color, so it's a rich jewel tone color. That leaves just going to be a little dead, right? <laughs> the one with the um, the um, soft suede. So I just kind of filled in the the leaves. And now I'm going to take the um, crushed curry and fill in the rest of the background. I kind of went a little crazy with that old olive, but I think it'll work. We're gonna have a little brown up on this one corner. I was thinking about, I wasn't done with the crushed curry. I needed to keep that out and then I just took it to the paper. I'm kind of adding a little bit more of the crushed curry around the edges. I want to get a real good definition, like I said, a real good delineation. It's a hard word to say. So I'm going back over all the edges, not so much the middle. Shoot! I love this card. I am going to take a little my melon mambo because I got a little green on one of these flowers and just kind of go over that a little bit okay now is when the magic happens we're gonna peel up this mask Isn't that pretty? This one's a little deeper, a little richer than the one, my sample, but I like it. And I'm going to put my tag down here to kind of cover up that little blip, bloop, my blooper. Now that glue left a little, just a little bit of adhesive behind. So I'm going to take my adhesive remover and just erase that off. It's not a big deal. It's kind of a dry, gummy adhesive once it dries. Okay. And I would save that too for another time um, that you want to do something similar. Okay, now for the card base. We're using an eight and a half by five and a half. Scored it four and a fourth and fold it in half to make our card base. And the first layer is crushed curry. And I just adhered it right onto the card base. Try and get up over this a little bit, sorry. And then I adhered our um, flowers to the basic black. The basic black measures five by three and three fourths. I just thought it was real pretty to frame out that. Um, I just love it. I just love that yellow, that crushed curry with that bright pink. Um, the, the crushed curry layer was five and a fourth by four. The basic black layer was five by three and three fourths. And once again, the layer we stamped on was three and a half by four and three fourths. And then I just popped it up a little bit with some um, Stampin' Dimensionals, this part. And I'm just going to use some bones that I have left over. These edges work really well. 
for this. I don't know, I just felt like bumping it up a little bit off the, just to kind of make it the center of the, a center of attention. Center of, did I say that? The center of attention, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, me and my words. Okay, so I want this down in the corner because I want to cover up that part that I got crazy with. Isn't that pretty? You could just frame that in a frame. <laughs> if I just say so myself, I just think those colors, I just, I'm floored. I'm floored. Because um, I would have never thought to put a bright pink with, with regal colors. I just never would have. Um, for the little tag, we're going to do a little heat embossing. So I just got a little scrap here of um, basic black. I'm using um, our embossing buddy, which retired and they sold out. I wanted to grab a few before they sold out, but they are gone. Um, but you can buy embossing or static tools um, anywhere, um, probably on Amazon. Um, okay, so we need some Versamark ink. And I'm using the I Miss You stamp from the Itty Bitty Greetings. Um, they're just tiny little greetings for about everything you could imagine. I use that set a lot. I didn't want to take away from the, the beauty of the flowers um, and put a big tag on there. I'm looking for my paper. My face disappeared. Am I in the corner of y'all's thing? Hey! <laughs> I'm supposed to be in the corner so y'all can see me. Can you see my face? There! Uh, I, I upgraded y'all. My, my, um, my trial period on my new software was over, so I had to... Um, so maybe I didn't have it set right. <laughs> y'all. I'm glad y'all put up with me. Okay. I'm going to just stamp this on a little strip of basic black, little scrap with the Versamark. And then I'm going to dump some Whisper White Embossing Powder over it. And before I spill this all over, I'm going to dump it back in the pot. We're almost done with the card. Just have to heat this up. So I apologize for the noise, y'all. I'm going to let it warm up a minute. try and hold it up here so maybe you can see it do its magic. I just love that part. <laughs> but it's not really focused, is it? I don't know if you were able to see it just kind of get shiny. But it did. And then I'm just going to chop it off. Like I said, I really didn't want it to take um, away from my flowers. Okay. 
And then I just glued it on with some glue. Little liquid glue. Grab some tweezers maybe. I'm going to stick it right there over my little boo-boo, which didn't really cause too much damage. That's the card, y'all. I really like it. Um, like I said, the stamp came from the Peaceful Poppies Suite. I used, I used the Painted Poppies Bundle. It's on page 25 of the Spring Mini Catalog. I used the stamp set and the um, dies. And if you purchase them together, you save 10%. Um, but the only thing we used the die for today was just the mask. So you could make this card without, um, you could have fussy cut that, that, that guide out and had a, um, if you're a beginning stamper and don't have the, the machinery, um, you can make this card very easily. And it looks pretty fancy. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you before I headed out, I forgot to show you this the other day when we were looking at all the new stuff. Um, here's the new catalog, which um, I'm praying and crossing my fingers. It's on the way to you. I'm trusting Stampin' Up! in the United States Postal Service to get it there to you, everybody. Um, I can't show you anything inside. I don't know what they'll do. Throw me in Stampin' Up! jail or something, but it's um, I can't show you anything inside the, the cover. Um, but it's pretty big, full of stuff. <laughs> pretty thick. Pretty nice. You're going to love it. There's some fun new things that are I, I was surprised by. And that's the only thing I wanted to share with you. If you want a catalog, let me know. I can get one out to you. If you haven't ordered from me within the last um, six to nine months, I can get you one. This is our May Hostess code. Um, for every $30 spent during the month of May, your name goes in to win the Little Ladybug stamp set. So remember that. And that's all. You guys have a great rest of your day. And um, I wrote my mess there. And um, I'll pop me back up. I got to remember I have this. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you Monday, if not before Monday, for um, Make It Monday. Okay. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.